All right, this is Doom CD32X Fusion for the 32X Sega CD. It's basically Doom, some of Final Doom. I think it's got some of, oh, that's loud. It's got some of TNT and Doom friggin' 2. Uh-huh. What the fuck? This is basically a uh, continuation of uh, Doom Resurrection. Um, but holy cow, they just keep adding more and more and more. This is using the Sega CD, not just for music, folks. It's using the Sega CD to store assets, to store the WAD files, the levels, the, and the assets, textures, and it can load that in. And that's how they can fit over a hundred levels, I think, in here. I mean, Doom 2 is in here. And it's the real PC WAD files this is based on. So I had to get my Doom and Doom 2 WAD files and then patch those in, make a 32X ROM file and make a ISO a CD file that I could burn onto a CD. And we've got my EverDrive in the 32X. We've got the CD in the CD, Sega CD. And when I click on Doom 2 here, there is some loading. You'll hear the Sega CD spin up. And here we go. This is Doom 2 running on a 32X Sega CD. Just look at the title screen. Looks amazing. Again, there is some short loading times because we're now loading off a CD, but they're not bad. We'll load up level one, Doom 2 here. Oh yeah, now you'll notice there's a little bit of a, like a border. And, uh, you know, that's how it defaults. And that gives us the best performance. But you know you can get rid of it if you want to. So let's go into options, video, and turn that resolution up. And again, it's not going to run as good now. But runs pretty good considering I believe the music's been changed a little bit the music has certainly been updated uh, since the original 32x version I mean everything's been updated just all around uh, it already was with 32x resurrection and then again this is just another step beyond that Again, small loading time here as the Sega CD spins up and that access, site, uh, access LED starts to blink as it's loading the next level. Even here, still, still loading. But there we go, we're in. It's not too bad, is it? Let's run. Is, okay, A is run. So A is run, B is shoot, C is uh, strafe or open doors. And then on the six button controller, uh, X and Y change through weapons. And then Z brings up the map. Can't get back up there once I fall down here. Well, I got the key, okay. There's stairs here. There's 
wasn't super shoddy. You ain't never had that on Sega 32X before. Wow. <laughs> Seriously, this is ridiculous. There was a few games that used the the Sega CD and the 32X at the same time. I'm trying to think off the top of my head, Fahrenheit 911 or whatever that game was called, and I don't know, was there a version of Night Trap? I don't, I don't remember. There's a couple of those full motion video games, uh, Corpse Killer. Uh, and basically, they just used the 32X to make the videos look a little bit better. So the quality of the FMVs would be a little bit better than just the uh, Sega CD on its own. But I mean, that's really all they were using it for. They're saying this is the first Sega CD game to use the 30, or I should say 32X game, to use the Sega CD. I missed the key. Uh, and again, we're basically just using the Sega CD for extra storage space. Oh, ho, ho. All right, you got the blue key. The music is not done by the Sega CD in this. The music is st still done by the Genesis or the 32X, maybe partially. It is FM synthesized music. So we're not using the Sega CD for the things you would typically, you know, imagine. Again, we're using it for storing assets and levels and stuff. Um, this is already, I think, on the 32X ROM side of things. Because it's still a 32X game, right? This is, so this is the 32X ROM is... Uh, um, third, I think it's 32 megabits. Which has got to be the limit. Like, so it's already pushing the limit. I don't know if it's 24 megabits or 32 megabits. Um... It's easier for me right now, speaking megabytes, it's like four megabytes. Um, which is, again, that's that's gotta be the limit of the ROM cartridge. Um, at least back in the day. I remember even 24 megabits was getting pretty big, but uh, Super Street Fighter 2, I think was bigger. But uh, yeah, anyways, so, like, they're already filling up that to the brim. And then on the CD part, I think there's, like, an, an extra 11 megabytes. So this, there's not a lot on the CD. I had to burn the CD. And, uh, you know, a CD can hold 650 or, or 700 megabytes. Yeah, it's not a lot in terms of, like, CD-ROM technology, uh, especially, again... If we were using the CD for, like, CD music or FMV, that would be one thing. But we're just using it for more Doom levels and some of the assets and stuff. Imagine if this came out like during the Sega CD's life, or the, the, the Sega Genesis lifespan, the end of the 16-bit era, and you had like one of the best versions of Doom. <laughs> Certainly this is the best console version of Doom of its era. Like compared to the original 32X, the Super Nintendo, the 3DO, um... The, uh, the Jag. This demolishes them all. 
<laughs> it blows them all away. Let's quit and uh, load up Doom 1. Oh, and again, the Sega CD is spinning up. The ultimate Doom. Yeah, the Sega CD is still spinning up. I wasn't sure if like all of Doom 1 was on the 32X ROM part and all of Doom 2 was on the Sega CD part, but I guess not. Or maybe there's shared assets between the two that are stored on the CD. Again, Sega CD loading. But we're in. It's really not that bad for loading times. We got the pillars. I forget if though if those were there on like resurrection. Uh, assuming they weren't there on the original 32x version, but this is running a like this is running really well. Like, this is running better than a stock 32X version of the game. And that has the window, like, border. So, like, yeah. This is just all kinds of impressive. And again, Sega CD spins up. We're loading along. Still loading. And there it goes. It's it's really not bad, is it? Is that like on par with the PS1 version? I'm guessing. I, I'm asking, I guess. I don't. I think I rented Doom. I think I rented like Final Doom for PS1 back in the day when it came out. So I played it a little bit when I rented it, but yeah, this is running great. I'll have the link in the description, of course. Um, it's got, it's basically, um, it's a web page with step-by-step uh, -step instructions because this is not uh, super simple. There's three files that you have to download plus a patcher, plus you have to have the Doom 1 and Doom 2 WAD files. Eventually, you're going to end up with your 32x ROM file, and you're going to end up with a bin and Q file that you burn onto a CD. I just used uh, an external USB, you know, DVD burner. I burned it at 1x. It still only took a few minutes or a minute. <laughs> it was, again, it's it's only like 11 megabytes on the CD. It's it's barely using the CD, but. You know, that's still three times more than you can get on the cartridge as far as storage goes. So, yeah, it runs really good. And uh, let's take one look at this here. So this is the 32X with the EverDrive. That's an early EverDrive. That's like a first-gen EverDrive. Uh, so you don't need anything fancy to load this up. And then... In there, we've got the uh, Doom CD32X Fusion. And good lord, very cool. See you guys later.